Hello everybody, um, it's Javier Pui again. In this presentation, um, I will be talking about the project Global Variation in Herbivory in Plantago Lancelata. Uh, this is a new project that we have kind of just started and we are doing it in collaboration with the Herbivory uh, Variability Network that I will introduce um, to you uh, just right now. Um, the Herbivory Variability Network that is based in, uh, in the Michigan, Michigan University, uh, Michigan University, they, they are very interested on the, um, on the um, herbivory, okay, as a, like most ecologically significant biotic interactions. And the thing, the fact is that um, herbivory is tremendously variable across time and space and also um, in, at all levels of biological in, uh, organization, not only among uh, species, but also among populations, among individuals, and even uh, within individuals. And as I um, um, said in here in the, in, the, in the slides, already Janssen was noting this enorm, enormous um, um, variability in, in, in herbivory. However, um, most of the study and uh, most of the studies and the ecologi our ecological understanding in herbivory is built on the observation of, um, of the mean patterns. So yes, uh, for example, checking the global distribution of mean herbivory, uh, seen here in the examples of the uh, latitudinal gradient in herbivory. So the herbivory variability network um, uh, like the main interest of, of the Everybody Variability Network is to check um, the how the this uh, how uh, the Everybody is distributed along this um, the, along how the global distribution of the variability in Everybody. So um, already they like there is a network of two hundred collaborator uh, collab collaborators for more than. Um, 30, 30 countries. And as you see, they have um, gathered um, more than 700 uh, surveys um, along in, in, from different uh, plant species. And, and yeah, they want to check the, the, the beaver distribution, right, across, across the globe and yeah, the plant tree of life. But and uh, yeah, I will present um, Will Wetzel, that is like the main uh, coordinator of this project. Um, but why Plant uh, Plant Popnet is interested is collaborating with this? Well, because um, they are um, also making um, they they want to they they have used Planta Golanserata as a focal species to check how is the um, herbivory variability within one species. So they take profit of this great uh, species, uh, Plantago lanceolata, that is, as, as we know, is very, uh, is a cosmopolitan species. So um, our relationship with uh, Airbar is kind of a symbiotic because um, we have, um, Tell our collaborators that uh, they can um, collaborate with Airbar to perform their um, protocol to check um, the, the to, to 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 really have like the quantitative uh, measures of herbivory in their sites, and also we'll, um, we will uh, have this information for our project and and of course with all our uh, great demographic uh, data. So already from, uh, from our sites, nine sites have performed their protocol. So checking um, the, how is the herbivore um, damage within the population. And also uh, we will have some extra, um, extra sites, like the, the sites that agreed um, in performing the, the clonality add-on. So these 25 sites. Uh, we will use uh, these sites as a um, as a experimental um, setup where we will check the um, the the 
we will check whether uh, the defoliation that we perform for the clonal T addon has any consequences for the for the populations. So, um, uh, what are the questions that we want to to answer with this with this project? Well, um, we propose this integrative approach, um, including this observational data, so this estimation of uh, the river level. Uh, also combined with the with the uh, great demographic data that we have, and also with this um, experimental um, uh, setup. Okay, so um, yeah, from the observational data, what can we um, what can we check? Uh, so first of all, we will we are very interested on um, on checking whether there is any environmental and biotic condition that influence the herbivory damage, not only like the mean value, but also the um, variability. So how is the herbivore damage distribution within the populations? So this has the, the two uh, great answers that we want to take. And of course, one of the main uh, questions that we want to, to answer with, uh, with, this, um, with this project is whether herbivory affects um, uh, any demographic process. So if it's um, negatively associated with um, vigor, um, population density of population uh, growth, and, and we want to check whether um, which demographic transitions are more sensitive to everybody, for example. So, um, and of course, uh, we will combine this, this, this great information with the, this, uh, the population experiment. So, testing whether the individuals that um, from from which we remove uh, some uh, a leaf, uh, they perform differently than, uh, than the individuals where um, from 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 which we didn't take uh, any any leaf from. So um, so yeah to check whether the impact of a herbivory differ, for example, like between between those plots, and also to check whether uh, the herbivory differ between native and non-native um, sites. Anyway, this is this this project still is is still very open. So I um, encourage you to perform the 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 observatory uh, observational um, protocol to perform this air, um, herbivory protocol to check. Um, I, um, I assure you that uh, you will learn a lot. Um, it's kind of, it's very detailed, like you should be very careful on, uh, on, on checking the, on estimating the herbivory damage, but you learn a lot. Uh, for 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 your site from the from your site and from um, from your population and how is the like the their bibri. Uh, so this this project is still very open. So we are always welcome to more uh, sites to perform this um, this protocol. So thank you um, all of you for listening and I'm. Here uh, is my my contact. So contact me if you want to perform this 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 protocol. Thank you.